Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dan the Fix-It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm gonna show you how to change the passenger rear window regulator on a 2004 Dodge Dakota. You can see we've got the window all taped up here. It won't stay up, it'll just fall down. So I imagine that the regulator's busted or uh, one of the cables is off. We'll, we'll have to take a look when we get in there. The first thing we need to do is take this door panel off and there's four screws that we need to take out. One is usually under a little plastic cover right here. It looks like the plastic cover is missing. You've got another one right, right in here. And then we've got two more. One right down here in the corner and then right here. Once you get the screws out, you can just lift up on the door panel and it will come off. Now we've got a few connections over here. Down below we've got this electrical connection for our power windows. Just push in and pull that out. And then up here we've got our door lock and our door handle. And these are just little plastic clips. Sometimes it just helps if you just kind of pinch that like that. There we go. And once they pop open, you can just lift out the little arm and then we can set our panel aside. All right, I like to start down here and kind of pull this stuff off. This black stuff is real sticky. And just kind of pull this back and peel it up just so we can see what's going on. And you can see we've got already a, a cable that's either broken or off the track. I'm pulling the tape off the window here so I can drop it down. So yeah, you can see our cables, our cables broke or one of the plastic pieces in there is broken. We need to bring this down so that we can access this bolt right here and then another one right here. This is just a little access hole to get to there. Um, also, we need to disconnect this right here. This goes for our motor. Pull up on that red piece and then press it here. Should be able to pull that out. We'll feed that through that little access hole and put it out of the way so we can get to that, get to the other bolt here. So we're gonna pull these out first. Just keep track of everything and set it aside. There's the other one. And you can see now our regulator is loose from the window. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the window back up. Then I'm just taping it back up out of the way so we can get to that regulator. All right, now there's there's these three bolts right here, these eight millimeter. So we just need to remove this one and loosen these two. You can see that they slide up and they come out of these holes. That's what holds the motor in place. And then up here, you've got two bolts. Again, this one we can loosen, and this one we just need to take this out. Down below, same thing. We'll remove this one and loosen this one. That will allow us to to slide this regulator up and out through here, and that should allow us to, to pull everything, including the motor, out through this access hole right here. All right, I'm gonna set the camera down and take the regulator out. Just kinda of have to tilt this way to get around the window, and then we should be able to get everything out. So yeah, we've got a, a broken cable mount here. Kind of hard to show you here, but this little plastic piece right in here, you can see that the where the cable is supposed to go in, this piece is pulled out and broken off the piece of plastic. So we're just gonna go ahead and swap out the entire assembly here. Here's the part number, Dorman 741599. This even comes with this optional mounting plate, but it doesn't look like we're gonna need that. Just kind of comparing our old one, see here's the two little screws or bolts that we left in and this has got these two little screws or bolts. The mounting plate, I guess, is for a, a different type of design. Also, you're gonna wanna take out these little 10 millimeter bolts on the old one and put them in on these sides here for the new one, which go into these little openings right here. All right, and then we can just feed the regulator with the motor inside. And then we can get these bolts started. Now on the motor, just get those lined up into these little slots. And we'll get the top one started as well. Now here's your, your motor cable. Just want to make sure that you feed this through the hole right here. 
Once we have everything into position, we can screw this down or tighten this down. I'm going to do the motor first. And then we can connect the new motor. Press that in where it clicks and then just push that red thing down. Then we can take off the tape and lower the window down slowly. All right, and then here you can see the window slider right here. It sits on this little catch right here, but there's also the same two bolts that hold that in place. Now this one here probably would have been easier if I would have done this before connecting this electrical, but there is room to fit a socket in through here. I just had to pull up a little bit on the window to get that second one to line up. This just kind of presses back in place. All right, we can put our panel back on now. Snap that into place. And then remember we've got our, our door handle and our lock. The lock is this one with yellow on it and it's the one on the bottom. Just line those up, press them down in through that little hole. Same with this one. Just press them into that little hole and then you turn this, that clips them in place. And then we can put our panel just kind of just hooks back in. So you just need to press the panel up against the door and then just slide it down. There's little plastic hooks or tabs that will hook inside the door. Now we can get our screws back in. Remember we've got the two larger screws up here at the top. And this one here. Again, I don't know where this little plastic piece went, but it's not there. And then we've got the last two screws that go down on the bottom. I cleaned all the duct tape stuff off with this oops stuff and then I sprayed some of the silicone spray in the track and then just cleaned the glass with the Rain-X glass cleaner. And you're done. Probably need to clean that up a little bit more but uh, pretty easy repair. Hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll put a link in the description with all of the parts and tools used in the video as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.